So I've been experimenting with the Well Said Labs tool, which you can check out at wellsaidlabs.com. Uh, this is the best text-to-speech technology that, as far as I've experienced, exists anywhere. Uh, it does have a few limitations, one of which is the fact that you can only render so much text at one time. And of course, it takes a while to do so. So in this case here, I've got uh, three different sentences that are going to all be a part of a single slide audio narration in Adobe Captivate. But as you can see, because of the length of the text, I've had to uh, render this out in three different recordings. So I'm just gonna download all of these to my desktop here. It will download them as a zipped folder. And then of course I can import them into Adobe Captivate. And the purpose of today's video is really just to demonstrate that you can do a lot of audio editing from right inside Adobe Captivate. So many of us have either other tools or you know prefer to just use different applications. Uh, but if you're limited in some way, you can certainly do this uh, right inside Captivate. And I'm just gonna show you that today. So here's the uh, zip file I just downloaded from Well Said Labs. I'm gonna right click on this and uh, I could choose either Extract All or you can use whatever uh, zipping software you prefer. I'm gonna use 7-Zip. And this is gonna create a folder that contains my three audio files. In this case, PK2, PK4, PK5 is what they were labeled. I'm going to open up Captivate now. And actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the library first and then use the import icon in the library to import these items directly into my library. That's the first thing we're going to do. So once that's done, I'm going to actually drag the first of these three sentences to this slide right here. And you can see now it appears on the timeline and it's extended the duration of this slide appropriately. And I'm gonna double click on this and that's gonna open up my slide audio window underneath the edit option here. So I can move right over to the end. I'm gonna place my playhead right after the last bit of audio here. And I'm gonna click on library and select PK4, which is the second sentence in this particular piece here and now you'll notice that it's added that to the end of there as well and of course I can do the third one as well again just put my playhead at the end of the recording go to library and now select the third sentence that's read and you may wish to further edit and I'll show you how to do that here so let's click OK so now we have the the full three sentences let's play it back and see how it sounds when producing audio narration with the Well Said Labs web application, you may end up with many clips of audio for a single slide's worth of narrative in this video tutorial. Okay, so first thing I noticed here was that the space between the first and second sentence, uh, which is right here, I think. In this video too. Right there, yeah. We're going to need a little bit more. That's at about the 8.4 8 second mark. I'm just going to copy some silence here and use the copy icon from above. And uh, where is that located? There it is there. And I'm just going to put my playhead right at that spot there and we'll paste that in. That just adds a little extra space there. So let's listen to this once more. In this video tutorial, I will show you how you can edit these clips together without using an external audio editing tool such as Audition or Audacity if you enjoy. So again, uh, we need that space. The clipboard still contains that little bit of audio there so I can paste that again and just create a little extra space there. So this should be pretty good. Let's go back to the beginning and give it a listen. When producing audio narration with the Well Said Labs web application, you may end up with many clips of audio for a single slide's worth of narrative. In this video tutorial, I will show you how you can edit these clips together without using an external audio editing tool such as Audition or Audacity. If you enjoy this video, consider subscribing to my channel and giving this video a big thumbs up. Okay, so that sounds pretty good. I'm going to hit save. 
It's going to prompt me to extend the display time to 22.6 seconds to obviously match the new audio. I'm going to say yes. And there we go. I often like to just put a little extra space at the end here. So I'm just going to extend the, the length of this particular slide. And of course, we have the blank spot at the beginning there. So I think we're good to go. So again, you don't necessarily need to have Adobe Audition or Audacity or some other audio editing tool. There's actually a surprising amount of audio editing that you can do right inside Adobe Captivate. If you thought this video was useful, please like and share with your colleagues. If you need help with your next e-learning project, hire me. My focus is to create effective e-learning that achieves your business goals. Visit my website at CaptivateTeacher.com and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel.